Hey guys, it's Kevin Martin here for Zufin.com. Uh, today I'm here to talk about the death of Jim Helwig, better known as the Ultimate Warrior. He died last night at the age of 54. The same right now is a, probably a massive heart attack. This is very sad because after almost 20 years of feuding with the WWE, he had finally gained acceptance back into the fold. And the fact that he had finally gotten to the WWE Hall of Fame, well deserved, because how iconic his character was in the 80s and 90s. And it was so heartbreaking hearing that he died, because I watched during the Hall of Fame ceremony, and how humble he was, and how he had his two little girls come out with him, and they showed his wife. He was so proud of those girls, and it's just very sad. Um, I've been a fan of wrestling for a real long time. Starting a little black and white 13-inch TV, WCCW World Class Championship Wrestling, watching the Von Erics, and of course, the Dingo Warrior, who eventually would become the Ultimate Warrior. Now, following his whole career, there were, of course, some years where, you know, I, I wasn't watching. I was interested in things. But, you know, he was so iconic. His feuds with, and his friendship with Hogan, Macho Man, and when he went to WCW for a little bit there. But his heyday, he brought out that he brought crowds like nobody else. The Attitude Era changed that a little bit, but for the longest time, it was him and Hogan that really got those pops. We ran down that full speed down the aisle. If you haven't watched anything of the Ultimate Warrior, just just look him up on YouTube here. He was a he was a good entertainer. Maybe not the best wrestler, but that's not that's just half the battle. He had a good personality. Just the, just the shaking of the ropes and just, it seems silly that it's such a little thing like that, but back then, just a thing of the moment. So, Dingo Warrior, Ultimate Warrior, Jim Helwig, rest in peace, and thank you for the years of entertainment.